Good morning, everybody. We are starting the day off today in beautiful Montana. We're getting coffee at this little coffee shop. It's called Maple's Coffee, and it's the best coffee ever. And everybody there is so nice. We're gonna go to Bozeman today. We're kind of on a couple different missions. We have to go to Costco. We have a Costco list, and the Bozeman Costco is the best Costco <laughs> in the entire world. It like blows the Las Vegas Costco's out of the water. I think it's just because it has like all the warm stuff that you, you can't get in, cost, in yeah. the Costco in Vegas. Like last time when we got there, I got like this really nice heated blanket. Are you gonna get one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> because she was like, I really want this heated blanket, but it's seventy dollars. I don't know if it's worth it. And I was like, Well, if you're not gonna get one, I'm gonna get one. And I ended up getting one, and it's the best thing ever. And she's been very jealous. Yes. Yeah, or envious, I guess, technically. I really wanted to like go to a couple different bookstores to get some cookbooks. And also, it's snowing, but only a little bit. The littlest, tiny, tiny little snows. We made it to Bozeman, and we popped in this little bookshop that I'm trying to find. It's down here. Do you remember what it's called? Country Shelf. Country Shelf bookshop and it's really really cool it's a little local bookshop in Bozeman and I got a couple cookbooks but now we're actually gonna go to this other bookshop it's called Vargo's Jazz City and books so we got records what <gasps> oh my goodness she is beautiful <laughs> what? I love your cake Where'd you get those from? <laughs> you got some rugs? Wow. Must have been in your pocket, huh? <laughs> but look, no camera, so we're gonna turn this off. We went into the other bookshop, but we didn't get anything. It's also a jazz store. There were like records everywhere. It was really cool. But now, we're stopping at the Community Food Co-op. Come in, we're local. Oh, I love stores like this. These are my favorite stores in the whole, whole world. Guys, look. They're assorted aromatherapy eye pillows, but look at how cute they are. This is like a little bear. Oh my gosh, look, so this is like what they are. I know, it's super cute. You can like heat it up and it smells good. Yeah, you, you lay it on your face like this. And then you have all these different kinds and they have different smells. That's really cool. Check this out. So we're in the bulk section right now, but look, you can get mason jars so you don't use plastic, and then you can get canola oil, extra virgin olive oil, all of these things, tamari, and you don't have to use plastic, which is fantastic. And then like, you just pay 85 cents for the jar. That is so cool. Susan, I love it here. There's so many cool things. Look at all the non-dairy yogurt over there. We're at Costco, it's Sunday, which means it's absolutely insane here. Susan, can you pass me these? I wanna show them. Look what we found. Look, they're slipper socks. They go up your leg and they're so soft on the inside. It's amazing. And this is why the Bozeman Costco is so much better than all of them in Las Vegas because you get the warm stuff, like the slipper socks. And look at these snowsuits. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, I'm drinking some coffee right now. I am about to put some actual clothes on. We went to Bozeman and I got some books. I'm gonna show you those books in just a little bit. It's the next day, if you haven't noticed, that's why I haven't gotten dressed yet. Before I show you these books, I have to put some actual clothes on because if I stay in my jammies all day long, I'm gonna feel really unproductive. But check out these jammies. Woohoo! I got them at Costco. Costco. Costco pajamas are life. <laughs> I'm gonna pet the belly. Ah! I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on today because I'm actually breaking out decently bad at the moment. I, Thankfully, this camera is rather flattering and you can't see all of the tiny, tiny details, but it is almost that time of the month and so it's, it's just not, not doing so hot right now. No, 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 I'm putting my contacts in. You're gonna get cat hair in my contacts and I'm going to like be very upset about it. You need to get down. Get down, get down, thank you. Okay. We're just 
gonna do a ponytail today. <laughs> this might be rather TMI, but just skip ahead to this uh, time code and uh, you'll you'll skip the TMI part. If you deal with periods, I wanted to give a suggestion for you guys. I actually use a menstrual cup and I love it. I will link all of this stuff in the description bar below if you wanna check out like what I deal with when it comes to period stuff. But um, I use a menstrual cup. The first few days of my cycle are quite heavy and I, that's pretty typical for a lot of women. So just as a backup, I also use cloth pads. And if you guys have never used a cloth pad before, they're really, <laughs> really cool and I kind of wish I got them earlier. They look like this when they're all folded up. These, these are quite cute. They have like a little button in the middle, but they just look like a regular pad. Um, so you know what they look like. It has like a, um, what do you call it? It has like a flannel strip down the middle and it's padded and you guys these have been life-changing i find disposable pads to be quite uncomfortable these ones feel so much better they're so much more comfortable they're they're just a lot easier to deal with and you just throw them in the wash when you're done with them they take up like zero space in the wash so you're not using like a ton more water or anything like that they're a lot easier to deal with and i highly recommend them i got them on amazon and i think i got like an eight pack or something and they come in like multiple sizes depending on your flow and your size and like all of this different stuff but i really really like them i got like two sets of them i'm pretty sure if you want to either lessen your impact on the environment or if you just want a more comfortable menstrual experience i recommend uh cloth pads they've been kind of life-changing back to getting ready for the day So now that I'm a little bit more ready for the day, I thought I'd show you guys a quick Montana check. Look out the window. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. Sorry about the screen in the way. Oh my goodness. I know, it is stunning, little cat. I know. I wanted to show you guys these books that I got from Bozeman. So they're both cookbooks. The entire reason I wanted to go to this bookstore was because I wanted to get a few cookbooks. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what I'm about to say. But I actually, until this point, I didn't own any cookbooks, which I'm kind of embarrassed to say. But I really wanted to buy some cookbooks for a few reasons. One of the reasons was that I really want to write a cookbook. You guys. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know the story that I wanted to um, make a cookbook for you guys because so many of you have asked for recipes that I make in, in videos and in blogs and stuff. So that's definitely on my to-do list. That's gonna be one of the projects that I'm gonna be working on diligently through my entire time here in Montana. I don't have a time when that book is gonna be released yet. I don't really know how it's gonna go. I've never done anything like this. So bear with me while we get all of that taken care of and figured out. If you guys have done anything like like that before I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below or reach out to me on Twitter or Instagram um, and I'd love to know your process um, any recommendations or things to avoid basically if you just want to help me do this I would appreciate it because I don't know what I'm doing so anyway I wanted to make a cookbook for a while but I didn't own any cookbooks which I'm embarrassed to admit and it, I felt I felt like a fraud because I wanted to make this cookbook but I didn't actually know I mean, like, obviously I've looked at cookbooks. I've flipped through cookbooks before, but I, I've never I've never had a cookbook that I've, you know, referred back to and actually looked through. And I wanted to get some cookbooks, A, one, for some inspiration to make a cookbook myself, to see what I like in a cookbook, what I don't like in a cookbook, just to get a better idea of kind of what I want my cookbooks to look like and how I want them to feel. And the other reason I wanted to get some cookbooks is because because I didn't own any before, I always felt like I didn't really, I guess, I don't know, want any cookbooks because this is going to seem really silly saying this out loud, but I didn't ever really want to buy a cookbook because I kind of wanted a permanent home before I bought a cookbook, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to word, but I, I feel like part of the things that makes a house feel like a home is having cookbooks in the kitchen. I know that's really silly. Obviously people have homes without cookbooks and it's fine. But when I picture like my house, how I want my house to look, how I want my home to feel, I want cookbooks in the kitchen. And I want cookbooks to be there to refer to if I wanna make something one day. And having physical books is something that I always kind of attributed to a permanent house. 
if that makes sense. Obviously the house that I'm in right now in Montana is not my permanent house, but hopefully soon, I don't know, maybe in the coming year or so we'll have a permanent house and we actually will hopefully buy a house. I would love to do that depending on how things go. We don't know how it's gonna go, but we'll see. And when we do buy a house, I want cookbooks to be in the kitchen and I wanted to just start this process now. So I got really anxious and excited and I just really wanted to like just do it. <laughs> so I got a couple cookbooks. So let me show you the cookbooks that I got. The first one is Thug Kitchen. I've literally only heard good things about this book. Comfort food, one pot meals, and other easy plant-based dishes to pack your plate. All of the recipes in here are plant-based, which is really cool. And they're, the recipes in here just honestly look kind of amazing. And I love the photography and just how it's laid out. So let's see. Quinoa taco mix, nacho, sweet potato al pastor, polenta puttanesca. This is one that I think I'm gonna make rather soon. Clean out the fridge, falafel. It looks so good. And another one I got is called Bosch. Simple recipes, amazing food, all plants. So both of these books are plant-based. By the way, I'm not strictly plant-based or vegan or vegetarian at the moment. I'm not saying that's not ever going to be a thing for me, but I actually really like making meals that don't rely on animal products. So that's part of why both of these books appealed to me because I just really, that's kind of how I gravitate toward cooking if I'm by myself on my own. Um, that's, I don't know, just how it is. These recipes also look incredible. So we have like Thai red curry, pasta ball, marinara, creamy korma. All of these look so good. Oh my gosh, mushroom and Guinness pie. <gasps> That sounds amazing. I might make this for Thanksgiving. Anyway, I'm going into too much detail, but these are the books that I got and I'm really excited about them. I might do like maybe a series on my channel, not on this channel, but on my personal channel, maybe where I cook through some of these cookbooks. I think that would be kind of fun to watch. So I don't know. We're gonna see. Hey, hey, are you excited? Are you excited about these books? Are you ignoring me? What? Oh, you're so cute. 